Hello everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be going over Backrooms level 588, which is a newly discovered level that seems to be possibly the safest place I've ever seen in the backrooms. We'll see how long that lasts. Thank you for watching, let's get into it, shall we? Also, if you want to see a more personal side of me, go check out my vlog channel. It'll be the top link in the description below. Thank you. So Backrooms level 588 is, of course, classified as a class 0 difficulty, and is safe and secure with no entities. The level itself manifests as a massive pink sprawl of land and structures and light. The sky is always a pinkish violet color, and the sun is always at a sunset positioning, which kind of gives the entire level a relaxing kind of vibe. The land is flat and smooth, and it seems to almost be digitally created because it's so perfect. Like there's no scratches or holes or anything on the walls or floors that seems to be damaged. It almost seems like it was just computer generated. And this kind of gives it an uncanny valley kind of feeling to wanderers who find themselves here. This level does actually have have some plants that grow on it. There's ankle length grass and some other kinds of tree plants that look like palm trees. And all of these things look slightly fake as well. They're also indestructible and can't be ripped up or torn out of the ground or anything like that, which is pretty strange if you think about it. All of the plants and structures here are violet and pink, just like the sky, and the entire level has that pinkish aura around it. The level is also kind of like an isolation chamber because you really can't encounter any other people or entities or anything else alive except you here. And on top of that, the entire place is extremely quiet, and the only sounds that happen are the sounds that you make. So like your footsteps and your breathing and whatever other things. Nothing else moves or makes noise except you. The buildings inside of this level are known as structs, which is short for structures, and there are several instances of these structs that you could run into while exploring around. Some of them look like houses, and others have no clear design and just seem to be random walls and roofs. They're made out of that same material that the ground is made out of too, and they all seem to have like these holes inside of them that look like windows, and sometimes they have porches and bedrooms and that sort of thing. Again, like the rest of the level, all of these structures seem computer generated or just fake in a way, and it feels weird that you can touch them. And even when you're inside of these houses, you can see that peaceful sunset lighting that's outside, but inside. There's also scattered furniture inside of the houses, like chairs and desks and that sort of thing. But it's not like regular stuff from real life, because it all seems to have different density. Meaning that there could be big pieces of furniture that you could pick up easily, and they don't weigh anything, even though they're massive. But even though they're easy to pick up and they're light, they're all invincible and cannot be broken, just like the plants and everything else on the level. So so there are structures that look similar to houses, and then there are also some that have pools in them, and there are also some that have curtains and other rooms inside of them as well. The pool ones have tiled walls and floors with water in it, and it kind of gives like a pool rooms vibe, except they're mainly outdoors, but they give you that same liminal feeling as the pool rooms. The water has no impurities at all, but it's not actually almond water. The temperature is perfect for the human body, so you could probably just take a swim around it and relax at any time, but it has been noted that drinking the water might make you feel lightheaded and weak and even give you feelings of loneliness. So you might not want to try that. There's been some other weird structures found too, like this huge pyramid with a bed on top of it, which like most of the level, makes absolutely no sense because why would someone put a bed at the top of the pyramid unless you want to just roll off the pyramid in your sleep or something. But this type of thing just adds to that uncanniness of the entire level. Speaking of beds, they're actually a pretty common anomaly on the level because you might just run into a random one on the shore or inside of the building or on top of a pyramid. They seem safe enough, but like I said, it's also random for them to be in the places they are. Who knows? So the main land of the level, which is the areas I just talked about, is actually surrounded by some sort of ocean or sea, and the further you go out into the sea, the darker everything gets, and the more glitchy and volatile and corrupt it becomes. So because of this, it is recommended to stay in the mainland part. Now, even though this level seems peaceful and relaxing, you do end up getting strong.
strong feelings of loneliness the longer you're here. And this is because you can't see any other wanderers or literally any other life at all, and it sort of becomes like this isolation chamber effect, which would be perfect for introverts, but for people who actually want to hang out and see other real things, it would be pretty scary to get stuck here. And because of all this isolation and lack of natural resources, there are no bases or outposts here, and you probably couldn't set one up. This level can be best described as a sort of dreamscape place where you're the only thing that can be existing here at this exact time. It seems like a paradise until you realize how isolating and lonely it becomes. Let me know in the comments if you could stay here forever or if you would get bored. To enter the level, you can be on a desert level like level 46 or 169 and find a mirror out in the middle of it, and the mirror will actually be pink because of the pink sunset on this one. No clip through that mirror and you'll be sent here. Or you might be able to be on a watery level and then swim towards a pink sunset to be sent here as well. To exit, you can noclip into a structure to be sent to level 48, or you can swim out into that ocean that surrounds the mainland for an unknown amount of time to be sent to an unknown level. I really like this level. I think it encapsulates what the backrooms is as a whole, because you're all alone here, and there's really nothing that can outright hurt you except yourself or your own mind, and that's because of how isolating it is. And I feel like most people would not want to stay here for long, even though it seems like paradise, the loneliness probably isn't worth it, unless you just hate everyone, I guess. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the vlog channel in the description below if you want a more personal view of my life and you think you get to know me better and if you want to just see what I get up to, that kind of thing, that's the place to do it. We're pushing for 50k over there and I'm pretty close, so if you want to sub, that would be a great help. Let me know in the comments what levels that you want me to go over on the channel, what entities, what creatures, what objects, anything like that, let me know. I'll so if you've been watching to the ends of the videos for the past couple ones, you'll already know what I'm planning to do for a million subscribers. And if this is your first time listening, I'm going to tell it again. So when I hit a million subscribers, I'm going to book a plane ticket to England to go to the picture location of the original Backrooms level 188. You know what it is, it's the hotel looking complex with the windows in it. I'm gonna go stay there and vlog there and, and just be there um, for a couple days. And that's the million subscriber special. So if you wanna help me get there, if you wanna you know see me do that, the video will be on this channel. It'll be a whole thing and uh, we'll, we'll just enjoy it. And I, we're really close. We're gonna hit a million subs sometime this year. Uh, th thank you so much for that. I, I cannot fathom that, but I appreciate you all. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.